Hi, this is Adam with ASC, and today we're going to talk about how do you set up the ball to feed. Uh, first, I'm going to lay it down and make sure you have all your parts. The first step in installing it is putting the beads in the actual filter. So you want to use a funnel, and any one of these ports will work, but you just want to pour all, all three boxes of beads in. Once you do that, you're gonna start installing the fittings. Now all the fittings are either threaded or slipped, so you need to make sure that with the threaded fittings, you use Teflon tape in a, in a clockwise manner. For the slip fittings, you wanna make sure you use a PVC glue. All right, so the first fitting you wanna install will be the uh, air inlet which goes in this port. And like I said, you wanna use Teflon tape and just tighten it to hand tight. Um, and so you put that first piece in that goes into the filter. And this next piece that goes onto it. And you need to make sure this piece goes uh, vertical with how the filter is going to sit. Um, the next fitting is right here. So this is your emergency valve, which will take everything out of the filter if you decide to open it. It should only be used in emergencies. Uh, the next two valves are your influent and your effluent, which go on the top and the bottom. screen so that the beads will stay in your filter. And you want to attach your three-way valve to your influent, just like that. And you want to also install your check valve on your effluent to make sure that it backwashes properly. Last thing is you want to make sure that your pressure gauge is right above your air inlet. And once all that is installed, the filter is complete.